this process, which includes several interconnected test disciplines. There are 11 test disciplines for light vehicles, trucks and buses, and 4 test disciplines for motorcycles. This employs a demerit point system, where points are deducted for every penalty incurred from a total of 100 points. Since the automated evaluation system is fair and more reliable, rather than the existing manual-based tests, and the entire test is processed online, it can manage staff more efficiently. For sedan, bus and truck, this is the Do It Right tutorial video demonstration. This is the control room to manage the practical examination for the driver's license. In the room, we've got computers for the driving course test, a control system, and another computer for registration. This is the main system to evaluate and communicate with the testing vehicles in real time. At the waiting room, candidates can wait for the exam and, when it is ready, the video screen displays a list of candidates awaiting a test. The driving course test consists of 11 test disciplines from the start to the end of the test, including incline start, intersection, roundabout, railway crossings, S course, gear shift, alley docking, and parallel parking. And besides them, it can check whether an applicant fastens seat belt, start, finish, and emergency brake. These testing elements are evaluated immediately. Now, let's check how a driver's license test is operated through the actual practice. The first stage is start, and one should drive over the start line. Before starting, an applicant should fasten their seat belt and turn on the hazard warning indicator. If the candidate fails to fasten their seat belt, it leads to disqualification. If the candidate fails to disengage the handbrake, points are deducted. If the candidate fails to turn the hazard warning indicator, points are deducted. If the candidate does not switch off the hazard warning indicator within 5 meters after crossing the start line, points are deducted. If the candidate fails to cross the start line within 30 seconds, points are deducted. The second stage is an incline start. In this course, a car should be stopped completely between two white lines of the incline start, and the car should restart without rolling backwards. If it fails to stop between the marked white lines, it is disqualified. If it stops for more than 10 seconds, points are deducted. If it rolls backwards, it is disqualified immediately. If it fails to restart within 10 seconds after stalling the engine, points are deducted. The third stage is driving through an intersection. A car should pass through an intersection when the traffic light signal is green and stop before the stop line when the traffic signal light is red. If the car crosses the stop line when the traffic light signal is red, it leads to disqualification. If the candidate fails to proceed within 10 seconds when the traffic light is green, it demerits the points. If the candidate remains stationary for more than 10 seconds in the middle of the intersection, it leads to disqualification. If the candidate fails to turn the indicator signal when turning right, it demerits the points. The fourth stage is driving into the roundabout. A car stops at the stop line and yields until the other vehicle exits the roundabout then he or she may proceed to enter the roundabout. If the candidate fails to give way, it leads to disqualification. And if the candidate drives over the roundabout boundary lines, points are deducted. At a curved course, the candidate should drive through it without any contact with the detection line within one minute. If it drives over the course boundary, it is disqualified. And if the candidate fails to completely maneuver within one minute, it also demerits the points. The timer sensor detects an entry of a car, checking the time limit while any contact with the detection line is detected by the detection sensor strictly. The penalty results are recorded in the display unit, enabling a candidate to consider any remaining points. The sixth stage is an alley docking course. At an alley docking course, the candidate should park within the designated space without any contact with the detection line within two minutes. Exceeding two minutes or making contact with the detection line gives an applicant less points. If the candidate fails to switch on the hazard warning indicator when reversing, it demerits the points. If the candidate moves forward and backwards after reversing, it is disqualified immediately. The seventh stage is emergency braking. Once an emergency light and a continuous beep turns on, stop the vehicle within two seconds and 
turn on the hazard warning indicators within three seconds. And if the emergency light turns off, turn off the hazard warning indicator and restart. If the candidate fails to stop within two seconds, when the onboard emergency stop signal appears, it demerits the points. If the candidate fails to turn on the hazard warning indicator within three seconds, it demerits the points. If the candidate fails to turn off the hazard warning indicator within five seconds and proceed after the emergency stop signal turns off, it demerits the points. The emergency braking course can occur at any time and anywhere during the test. There is no predetermined location to perform the maneuver. The eighth stage is railway crossing. An applicant should not stop beyond the stop line of the railway. If a candidate fails to stop within one meter from the stop line, it demerits the points. If the candidate stops over the stop line, it demerits the points. If the candidate crosses the railway line without stopping, the candidate is disqualified immediately. The ninth stage is to maintain a specified speed. In the entire course, an applicant should maintain the speed as 20 kilometers an hour or lower. At the gear shift course, they need to maintain a speed of over 20 kilometers an hour. Unless it is observed, one point demerit is given to an applicant. If the candidate fails to maintain a speed less than 20 kilometers an hour when entering the mark zone and thereafter accelerate to more than 20 kilometers an hour and finally decelerate to less than 20 kilometers an hour in accordance with the speed restriction, it demerits the points. If the candidate fails to begin in first gear and upon acceleration change into second gear and finally upon deceleration engage first gear, it also demerits the points. The tenth stage is parallel parking. Locate a car parallel to the confirmation line without any contact with the detection line within two minutes. If it fails to stop at the course confirmation line before exiting, it demerits the points. If the candidate drives over the course boundary, it demerits the points. If the candidate fails to switch on the hazard warning indicator when reversing, it demerits the points. If the candidate fails to complete the maneuver within two minutes, it also demerits the points. The 11th stage is the finish. An applicant turns on the hazard warning indicator and drives it through until the rear wheels are completely passed through the finish line. If the candidate fails to pass the finish line completely, as well as turning on the hazard warning indicator, it demerits the points. Moreover, if the candidate does not follow course sequence, the candidate will be disqualified immediately. If overall score is 80 out of 100 points or more, the candidate passes the exam. If the overall score is less than 80 out of 100 points, the candidate fails the test and will have to pay and rebook for another test. This is the Do It Right tutorial video demonstration for the motorbike. Candidates must wear protective gear before riding a motorbike. Start. If the driver fails to start within 30 seconds, it is failed immediately. Eight shaped course. If the rider touches the course boundary lines, it demerits the points. If the rider fails to follow the course direction, it is failed immediately. If the rider takes their foot off the footrest, the system demerits the points respectively. If the rider falls off their bike, it results in a disqualification. If the rider stalls the engine, it demerits the points. Slalom course. If the rider touches course obstructions, it is failed immediately. If the rider touches the course boundary lines, it demerits the points. If the rider fails to follow the course direction, it is failed immediately. If the rider falls off their bike, it is failed immediately. If the rider takes their foot off the footrest, it demerits the points. If the rider stalls the engine, it demerits the points. Crawling in a narrow road course. If the rider touches the course boundary lines, it demerits the points. If the rider completes the course in less than 7 seconds, it demerits the points. If the rider takes their foot off the footrest, it demerits the points respectively. Emergency braking course. If the rider enters the start line of the course at a speed over 25 km an hour, it demerits the points. If the rider fails to maintain a speed of at least 25 km an hour when crossing the starting line for the braking zone, it demerits the points. If the rider brakes before entering the braking zone, it demerits the points. 
If the rider stalls the engine, it demerits the points. If the rider fails to follow the course direction, this will result in disqualification. If overall score is 80 out of 100 points or more, the candidate passes the exam. If the overall score is less than 80 out of 100 points, the candidate fails the test and they will have to pay and rebook for another test. This is the Do It Right tutorial video demonstration for the road exam. Road Driving Test The electronic road driving test system is designed to remove examiner subjectivity for evaluation and strengthen test objectivity by evaluating with a computerized automatic system. By recording all procedures of the test, these systems are also highly reliable. The tasks of the road tests are divided by evaluating driving skills, traffic regulations, and driving attitudes. These tasks are also divided by fully automated evaluation, semi-automated evaluation, and examiner's manual evaluation. A tablet PC is used to consider these evaluations to combine three types of evaluation methods. The tablet PC will guide all of the procedures and directions to the candidate and the candidate can just follow the guidance all the time. Before the exam, the automated system selects an exam route randomly. Then the candidate can start the exam by turning on the right indicator. Testing procedures are recorded by video and audio and these recorded files can be used as proof to resolve civil appeals and also remove corruption between the applicant and the examiner. It is a must. Conclusion As the number of drivers and vehicles increases on our roads, our lives become more convenient due to the availability of transportation. But on the other hand, possibilities of traffic accidents also increases. Taking into account this ambiguity, in order to decrease the danger of traffic accidents and protect citizens' lives and property, systematic and strict driving license tests should be implemented. Botswana is the first African country to take advantage of the advanced, intelligent driver testing system. With these test systems, more numbers of candidates can take the exams in a day, and we can save time and manage the data more efficiently. As for the candidates, they will wait less time to take the exam. Our history begins with advanced thinking and internationally recognized technology. We are the first country to